a messy lab, a forgotten petri dish, and an accident that would change medicine forever. In 1928, at St. Mary's Hospital in London, a scientist named Alexander Fleming returned from vacation and noticed something strange. A blue-green mold had grown on one of his culture plates, and everywhere around it, the bacteria were dead. That mold was Penicillium notatum. Fleming realized it produced a substance that killed bacteria but spared human cells. He called it penicillin, the world's first antibiotic. But he couldn't purify it. For 10 years, his discovery sat forgotten until Howard Florey and Ernst Shane at Oxford brought it back to life in 1939. They refined it just as World War II began. By 1944, Allied factories were making tons of penicillin, enough to save thousands of soldiers on D-Day. Infections that once killed, now simply healed. When I woke up on September 28, 1928, I didn't plan to revolutionize medicine. From a forgotten mold to a miracle drug, penicillin has saved more than 200 million lives, all because one man didn't clean his lab.